Okay, hi everyone. I'm Gwen here. All right, uh, welcome everyone uh, for tonight's session. So tonight, uh, we, we will be going to share what are the oils that we can use for travel, especially for families and ourselves. So I will cover the oils that we need to bring for little ones and I was uh, for adults also. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so I would like to do a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor or nurse or any other uh, medical professions and we are not claiming to be. I'm not treating or diagnosing anyone in this talk. The information provided here comes from our experience, okay, from our experience, ours and those other people that you are using doTERRA essential, essential oil, okay, or from our studies of credible sources of information on essential oils related field. We find that essential oils are powerful and safe. That is why we are here to share it with you today. All right, so let's move on. So today, take away, right? In 2023, you will get to know what are the things that you need to bring. So I will be sharing like recipe for hotel room spray, hand sanitizer, and also bug spray. Okay, uh, there are conditions that you know hotel room might have big bugs. Okay, I hear a lot of this also. Uh, but we have not been hearing this for quite some time, as you know, uh, just open up and people start traveling. For the last past few years, I always have people telling me that they have big bug, big bugs issues. So you, I also will share that uh, always for bug spray and also emergency kit in case wound cuts and uh, also uh, for food poisoning and others. And what are the oils that you can bring, you know, when you are, you bring along uh, your children for travel, you know. So what are the oils that you, you bring and, you know, support their needs, okay? So let's move on. So let me ask you a question. What worry you the most when you travel? Can you share? Type in the chat and tell me what you worry the most. Like something happened, you know, during overseas. What worry you the most when you travel and you have no essential oil at all? Food poisoning? Yes. Any more, any more? Anyone here can type more? What is your what you what worries you the most when you think that oh during the time you don't have anything? Okay, and you are very, very worried that you know the conditions, you know, when you travel have this sudden fever. Yes, agree. <laughs> yes, yes. Very bad headaches. Yes, okay. Any more? Lao <laughs> Sai. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This this is uh something that very common. Okay. Uh most of the, the the things that I heard from others, right, is like food poisoning, vomiting, uh, sudden fever for kids. Okay, and uh, you know, sprain, uh, like during your overseas trip, you sprain your your leg, you know, uh, uh, and you know, uh, a lot of conditions like you know, uh, maybe you cut yourself, cut yourself, or you know, uh, fell. I hardly hear that, but there are kids have this condition also, right? Okay, so let's see, see. Okay, what is this? Ah, uh, the Chinese word. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. All right, so these are the, the things that you worry, right? So you see the common issues when we travel, the, the things that we, are, we worry the most is like vomiting, stomach upset, gastric, okay, uh, food poisoning, motion sickness, giddy, you know, and headaches, pain and fever. Yeah, constipation. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. There are con people, constipation. Ah. Mm, okay, there are oils that you will bring along and it also helps you with your conditions like if you have constipation, all right? So these are the very common uh, issues that we, when we travel, right, uh, people might have this condition, like, you know, some people have motion sickness. And for me, right, uh, I cannot take a long uh, hours uh, on the road, especially I'm, I'm taking taxi, right? Just to let you know, uh, even for me, when I just take a cab from Pongo to Dutera office, uh, I will actually have this uh, feeling of chewing out. It's all the time I'm having this issue. Okay, I always have this problem because I have, I think I have motion sickness. Lah. So most of the time I in the in the car, I will always in uh use some oils and then I will just inhale. And it do help me throughout the whole journey. All right. So I also will cover this. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so what do you what do you prepare when you travel? So normally, can you share with me what do you when you travel? What do you prepare in your luggage? Okay, normally we'll bring clothes, right? Okay, can can you all share? 
let's see what you all bring, what you all prepare for travel. Anyone want to share? Uh, first aid kit bag, yes, this is a must. This is a must. Any more? Can type in. So let me share uh, for me, right? A diffuser, yes, Respond S, correct. Yes, I also will prepare diffuser. It's a must for me, as, especially in Singapore, right? Uh, even when I travel uh, around with my kids, especially my, my boy, okay? Uh, sometimes, um, recently, I start bringing a pilot diffuser with me everywhere I go, okay? Uh, it's like I will just put the, the pilot diffuser right beside my boy, okay? My, uh, uh, his stroller, okay? When he's sleeping, I'll just on, on the diffuser. Yeah, bring, bring diffuser. Yes, eye cover. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all these are good. All right, for me, uh, I will definitely bring diffuser and I must have is a Respond X. 10 basic or uh, 10 oils and medication. Bubble diffuser, idea or huh? bubble diffuser also good. Easy and compact. Okay, bubble diffuser is a very small one. And then it's a, a very strong diffuser that diffuse oil. Okay, the pure oil. Right, okay, very good. Thank you for sharing everyone. Okay, so let's move on. So you see, we can we, we need to bring diffuser, we need to bring some oils, we need to bring first aid kit. Then we also have to bring some of the, you know, shampoo, toothpaste. You know, toothpaste, Zotera also have. Uh, you also can, you know, bring a small dose sample pack um, uh, toothpaste with you for easy travel. And then we also have the shampoo set, which is the travel set. The, I think the travel set you can buy from US, which is very, very good. Yeah, bring experience pack. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's move on. All right, so can we bring essential oil up to the plane? Ten or not? Y'all type in the chat. Can we bring essential oil up to the, the, the plane? Can? Can? Y'all type, you type. Can, yes or no? Okay, yes or no? Okay, yes or no? Some people say cannot. Some people say yes. Some people say no. Wow, Lily, you are very good. Huh? Yeah, oh, correct. So the answer, right? Yes, you can bring essential oil up to the plane and limit to 100 ml. Okay, so do remember we, we can bring, we can travel with essential oils. Okay, and you can actually, the max of the, the, the limitation is 100 ml. Correct. Lily is very good. Okay, so do remember, okay, essential oils can we can bring up to the plane and use and apply. So for me, right, uh, there are some people who have ear pressure issue. You know, sometimes uh, your, your, you have ear conditions that are very painful, and especially for children. Uh, I do heard uh, uh, there are some children that, that have ear pressure conditions that cry throughout the whole journey, which is actually very, very tiring, tiring for the parents and even the passengers in the plane, right? So later I will share what other oil that can assist in this condition, right? So let's move on. I would like to share this recipe that I think when we travel, we definitely need a hand sanitizer with you. I have a habit, not even I travel, even when I'm, I'm going out, as long as I step out of my house, I will need to have a hand sanitizer for me. Okay, I will spray and use it for my kids everywhere I go when I need hand. Okay, sometimes you also can use this for your, your seats. Okay, uh, anywhere you touch. Okay, we don't want others, you know, our kids or ourselves to caught other people virus, right? So you can actually do this DIY hand sanitizer for your children. Okay, I find that uh, it's very good and compact to bring around. Okay, doTERRA actually have this like, you know, something like this size, okay, uh, on guard mist. So when you finish the on guard mist, you don't throw it away. You can do it yourself, okay? Just basically get add in uh, ethanol alcohol, five drops of on guard, five drops of tea tree, five drops of le uh, lemon, okay? Then you top up the rest with uh, uh, alcohol and you shake. Okay, you can spray anywhere, high chair, your baby high chair, your baby stroller, anywhere, anywhere, okay? Yeah, each bottle less than 100 ml, no limit, no limit on numbers of water. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. All right, so do remember, okay, uh, travel, you need a hand sanitizer. 
Okay, definitely you need. And this one, you also can use it to spray on your hotel room bed. Okay, I, I, uh, I'm actually quite particular. And every time when I go to the toilet, right, I will spray. <laughs> when I go to the toilet, I will spray the toilet seat and then before I, I see, this is uh, my, my ha habits. So you can use this for any, any of your needs. Lah, okay, even you, if you are in, a Sing in Singapore, you didn't travel, you also can use it as a daily need. Okay, so let, let's move on to the next recipe that I would like to share. I love a boat. Okay, I personally love a boat. Uh, if you need a stronger blend, okay, if you're looking something stronger that can kill bacterial virus or whatever, or even someone is not well at home, I will use this recipe. Okay, I will use this recipe and then I will spray my toilet, my baby play mat, and even my bed. Okay, I, I think some people might find that hey, you a bit kwa zhang or no, actually, I, I personally find that it do help my children uh, potentially prevent them uh, because I have two kids. So one of them sick, right? The other one actually always play together. So I always spray. Okay, I make sure that I spray the bed, uh, spray the, 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 the place or the, the playing area uh, 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 and make sure I clean it up. Okay, and even the dining table. How many percentage? Okay, for me, right, I actually especially buy from a supplier, the alcohol is 80%. But normally you can get 70% is good. Okay, 70% is good. Where to buy the super suitable one to... Uh, okay, you know our Elizabeth, she has very good alcohol. Can buy from her and it's not, uh, it's not expensive, uh, uh, affordable. Okay, our our diamond, our blue diamond leader Elizabeth, she's selling the alcohol. I can recommend you all to buy from her. Okay, really good, 96%. Her grade is those grade that using for perfume. So you want you can you can actually purchase it from her. Yeah, okay. So do screenshot for the recipe and then you all can stay at home, you know, do it, do a DIY during the weekend. Okay, all right, so let's move on. Do take note, it's a very good recipe for a boat. And if you, if you haven't owned a, a boat, do remember a boat can use it for diffusing when someone is not well at home. I have a habit that I will use this on and off. Okay, I even use it for mopping my floor. So <laughs> how to buy from her? Mm, maybe you can check with your leader. Definitely your leader will know who is Elizabeth Ho. <laughs> then ask her to get uh, help you to buy. Okay, arrange with her. Spray bottle need to be glass. Yes. Uh, you also can use plastic, but you must get a good, great plastic uh, bottles. Okay. All right. So normally I recycle on guts uh, mist bottle. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. So you see, uh, when we have ear pressure, right? What are the oils that can support ear pressure? Okay, so the first oil will be lavender. Lavender not only release the pressure, it also helps you to calm yourself, uh, calms your mood also, and give you a relaxing mood during when you, you fly. And you also can use it for skin irritation when you travel the plane. Some people might have allergy issues, all right? And some people might take uh, lavender internally to promote relaxation and peaceful sleep. So if you are on a long flight, you definitely will need something to calm you, to keep you relaxed and feel uh, lesser uh, fatigue. Okay, this is something that I will highly recommend that lavender is one of them that you can rub and then inhale. You know, keep yourself relaxed during the 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 trip, uh, the when you are on the plane, and it also give you a relaxing aroma. So when imagine when you are applying right, and then people sitting in front of you and behind right, they can smell the aroma. It's so relaxing, you know. I personally really really like lavender. Not only that, I use for hair. And another oil you'll be surprising that, I think many many years ago, uh, I heard uh I learned from Carrie Donakan. Okay, she shared that uh. Balance is one of them that uh, can release the ear pressure. As uh, she also shared about her story about uh, her hearing issues that uh, she actually visited a lot of doctors, you know, she couldn't get, uh, you know, couldn't get a, a, a cure, All right, And after using uh, Balance and some other oils, right, her hearing actually came back. So Balance is one of them that is very good for ear pressure. Okay, you can just basically apply at the back of the year. Like what Fabian say, Fabian definitely will use uh, Helichrysum and also Frankincense. These two oils also can. 
Okay, basically you also can use like a uh, basil. Okay, basil, tea tree, all these are good also. You have to blend in a blend and apply at the back of the neck. But for me, I will prefer something like that. You can use it for your ear pressure. At the same time, it also can calm your mood and create a calming, relaxing travel uh, during you, you travel. Okay, so it's very important. Do take note, both oils are suitable to use for baby, for kids, for any age. All right, can clear yeah, so I'll screenshot uh, for these two oil. There's another uh, two oils, which is what Fabian shared is Helichrysum, Frankincense, and uh, Basil for me, and Tea Tree. Okay, Basil and Tea Tree must blend together. You can mix it with Lavender also. All have to use refreshinated coconut oil. Anything that you use on your skin must dilute. Okay, must dilute refreshinated coconut oil. Never use neat oil on yourself or your younger children. Never, uh, don't do that. Huh? Okay, safety come first. So let's move on. Okay, so may I know anyone going to travel this uh, few months later? Anyone here? You can type, which country are you going? Which country are you going? You can type. Then I share. <laughs> Anyone traveling uh, to any country this few months late uh, after this coming month? Korea. Okay, Korea next week. Uh. Okay, I know, I, I know uh, Sayuri. Sayuri, are you going back to Japan? I think it's cold, right? Uh, Korea is cold. Okay, any more, any more people going back? Oh, okay. Uh, Melbourne. Okay, any more? Let's see any, any people traveling to Asia with uh, hot weather. Anyone? No? Okay, just only this Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong in June, very hot. Okay. <laughs> Will be very hot. Okay, so let's meet uh, KL. KL also hot. La. Also hot. Okay, also hot. Okay, any more? Okay. Right, so I will share uh, what are the oil that I will highly recommend you to bring when it depends on the country you visit. Okay, the first oil I'd like to recommend, which is peppermint. Peppermint is very good for hot weather. Okay, why? Because you have natural cooling uh, sensation when you apply and naturally cool our body temperature. Okay, not only that, uh, when if you're not you are feeling under the weather, feeling very headaches, migraine, weather too hot, you know, feel like very giddy, you can use peppermint. Okay, and it can be also added in our tea or drinks. I uh, my spelling short of one R, so sorry. Okay, so it, it can be added in our drink or tea. Okay, for refreshing. Okay, it will helps you to feel very cool inside and outside. Yeah, uh, yes, Japan. Japan, you have I think it's cold, maybe cold, right? So I think there are there are a lot of uh uh ways to use peppermint. But if let's say you are going to a country that is very hot, right? Do bring peppermint with you. So basically, where do you apply? So when you are feeling hot or you are going for a hiking, do remember peppermint can apply at the back of your neck, okay? Uh your arms area, your your uh your knee and back of the knee to cool your body temperature down. Okay, drinks, you can put one or two drops in your tea or your drinks. Okay, you will find that after you drink, you feel very cooling. You all can go and try. You can add in your tea or your drink. Okay, and even your bubble tea also can. Uh, all right, to have this cooling, cooling feeling. And it's very, very nice. And it uplift your mood. Okay, it uplifting. You have a very uplifting uh, 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 Aroma also. Okay, so when you're feeling very tired, you also can use peppermint also. Then another uh, oil that I highly recommend is that when you are traveling to a co uh, cold weather, ginger is a must. Okay, uh, recently my cousin went to Taiwan and then she actually called me up and said, hey, you know what oil? I say, you, have, you must bring this oil, ginger, because she's going with three young children. Okay, one is only, I think, one, and then uh, the other one is two, and the other one is three and a half. Okay, so three kids are all very young. So when she traveled at the time, I told her, Ginger, you must bring because the weather are cold there. So how do you use it? actually warm up our body. Okay, it warms our body, uh, uh, especially like, you know, going to a uh, cold weather, apply on the chest, on the tummy, and the soul. These three areas are very important, as tummy is so very important, it keep you warm. 
Okay, so if you are traveling to a cold country, ginger is a must to be added in into your, your blend to warm up your baby body or yourself. Okay, and it can be added in our tea or drinks to warm up, uh, warm us up. Like example, if you are drinking some tea, just add one or two drops to keep you warm. And one thing is very good for blood circulation, water retention use. Okay, and not only that, ginger can be used for children for coughing and flu. All right, and even for phlegm issues, it's very, very good. I personally use ginger every day for my children and myself. Okay, and uh, every night I will um, apply under my soul, okay, to remove uh, the dampness from my body. If you know that you are a person that has a lot of dampness, you can actually apply ginger under your soul, okay, uh, before you sleep. Patchouli is also very good. All right, so do take note. These two oils depends on what are the which country you are going. But even you are going to a cold country, peppermint have to tag along also. Okay, there is a reason why behind is that if it happen that you have a sudden fever, people uh peppermint will come in rescue. Okay, so peppermint is one of them that have to be tagged along to any any country you go. All right, so let's move on. So what are the oil for digestive support? Especially when we travel, we definitely might have some uh, discomfort of like uh, indigestion, uh, diarrhea. As just now, there's quite a number of you actually mentioned that, you know, worry that you have food poisoning uh, or you have uh, upset stomach, constipation, digestion is one of them that you need to bring. It support healthy digestion when you use internally. For adult use internally, for children, we apply. All right, and it's smooth occasion, upset stomach. When you eat too much or you have an indigestion after a meal, okay, apply a uh, digestion definitely will help you to release the discomfort. I have I always on and off now, right? I always use this oil as I find that uh, my digestive system was not really good. So I start using uh, ginger and digestion and I find that it's really wonderful. Okay, not only that, my, my mom is one of the fans of uh, using digestion also. All right, it helps to reduce gas and occasion indigestion, especially children who have uh, appetite issues and even for adults, apply on the chest or the tummy and you will slowly feel much better. Sometimes it's because that we are feeling very bloated. That is why that we can't even eat. Okay, we, can't, we don't even have the appetite to, you know, to eat anything that you want to go in. Lah. Okay, so always remember digestion is one of them that it have to be used daily. Okay, daily, yeah. Right, don't wait until when you have condition, then you, you turn to digestion. So ginger is one of them that I love it. Okay, it's very effective for constipation condition. And one thing, it warms up our intestine and uh, warm up our body and support healthy uh, digestions and ease occasion in digestion and even nausea. Okay, uh, especially like, you know, food poisoning, vomiting. Okay, peppermint uh, and ginger, digestion all can use, okay? All right, and not only that, uh, it's, you have a very uh, smoothing and calming aroma. When you're traveling to a cold country, you can use ginger for diffusing, okay? You can mix it with wild orange, you also can mix it with some of the blend to keep you, uh, to, to uplift, uh, uh, give you a very smoothing and uh, calming aroma, all right? And peppermint, definitely, you see, peppermint will, will definitely works for all the digestive issues, okay? Uh, it also helps you with respiratory function and also clear your breathing. All right, sometimes when we travel, we'll notice that we suddenly have a, uh, like a sinus issues, okay? You can use peppermint, okay? You can use peppermint, grab, inhale slowly, okay? Breathe in and out, okay? And apply on your tummy, it helps to, it helps also. And it also helps with motion sickness. Okay, for, for your info, these three oils, uh, you can use it for motion sickness. Okay, motion sickness, like, you know, you are not, I don't know, some people, motion sickness is really very bad. These three oils will definitely help you. Okay, and it's also peppermint, also a repel bugs naturally. So anything we come with mosquito, la, bugs, la, Bites ah, mosquito ah, like any insect bites ah, you can use peppermint to stop the itch also. All right, so I hope it's clear. Ah. Any question here? No question. Then we're gonna move on. And if let's say 
I have a gastric, you know, I have a very bad gastric when I travel. What are the oil that I can use? These three oil all can use. All can use, huh? Okay, you can use all these three oils for your condition like gastric, constipation, uh, stomach upset, okay? And anything to do, do with digestive, this tree oil, can, it works, all right? And supplements like peppermint, soft gel, uh, some people might not, uh, might find that uh, bringing too much oil uh, is very heavy. You can actually add in like soft gel for easy. All right, or maybe you find that uh, it's very hard to you know drop the the oils in the veggie capsule. You can go for soft gel. Okay, it's very good to support all these uh digestive issues, stomach upset condition, and indigestion. Just pop one. Okay, just pop one. And if during the time when you feel that uh you have some fever conditions, allergies condition, you can also take peppermint soft gel. Okay, sometimes you just know what will happen when we travel. So bring along one, uh, like you know, four or five piece, uh, uh, soft gel with you or standby will be good also. So in case you need, you can you can use it. All right. Okay. So let's move on. Another one is digestion soft gel. Okay. Uh, food poisoning, this stomach discomfort, anything, constipation la, phlegm la, food poisoning, you know, gastric pain. Uh, you can go for digestion soft gel. Okay, you can actually put in your supplement box and travel with you. Uh, like example, you are going only two or three days. You know, you can just put a few. Okay, and take every after meal. Okay, take every after meal. It will help you with your indigestion or any stomach uh, discomfort. What is the oil of the raw food? Huh? Which one? Uh, for raw food? Uh, what is the oil for raw food? You mean what, what oil that we can use for raw food is it when we are uh, taking raw food often? Oh, okay. Uh, highly recommend oregano. <laughs> There's this uh, GEX Assist in doTERRA. That one also you can, you can take that. Uh, it's like a deworm pill, something like that. But uh, it's another uh, uh, way. If not, you can actually take uh, oregano uh, tea tree, you know, for 10 days in a veggie capsule. If, if you are oh, to protect from getting food poisoning, uh, normally you can go for digestion first. If you are worried that you travel, right, and then uh, you are you are worried that you travel and you have uh you you are worried that you have this food poisoning issue after taking some food, right? After your meal, you take digestion. Okay, on guard also can, on guard soft gel. How to blend the motion? Oh, how to blend the motion sickness and uh back uh, motion sickness once count. Okay. Yeah, okay, can, can. The whole day, very sick for the whole day. Okay, motion and headaches. Wow, this is quite bad, huh? Okay, actually for walk too much, too tired, what oil? Wait, walk too much, too tired behind the oil. <laughs> Got recipe one. Okay, don't worry. We talk about tummy and also motion sickness and food poisoning. Okay, so sayuri actually digestion you uh every time you travel right bring along the oil and then you can actually use the oil to apply and you also can use it internally. So if you don't have soft gel or of the veg cap, just drop two drop under your tongue after the meal. Okay. Then if let's say you happen to have food poisoning, uh, I have a tip is that I will definitely go for oregano uh, when I have a food poisoning episode. I will definitely take tea tree oregano, digestion, you know, frankincense, and then uh, internally, after a while, it actually feel a lot better. Okay, for children cannot be take, taken internally. Uh. Okay, so let's move on. Later, I share the motion sickness blend. Okay, Celine. Okay, so this is the respiratory booster blend, which is I highly recommend if you are going to anywhere. We cannot be bringing a lot of oils together, but if you can, you bring all the oil. But if you cannot, you can do a blend. Okay, this is one of the blend that I will find that is very effective in uh, respiratory, especially it comes with viral. I will definitely go for this blend and oil my children. Uh, but we cannot bring bottles. You do a blend, which is a 10 ml blend, and then you drop all this oil in and, and travel and bring it with you. 
Okay, so I named this a respiratory booster blend. Some people call it a wellness boost, uh, wellness blend. Some people call it call, call it a cough bomb. Okay, but I find that it should be uh, something that is easier for everybody is respiratory booster blend easier or you call call a cough blend. This is actually very popular blend that mostly used for coughing, uh, viral. You know, kids who have a very bad coughing or condition, this will definitely you need to bring. Okay, at least this can help you. One year old, you can actually cut maybe six drop each. But I for me, uh, I go for ten drop each. Okay, if you know that your kids are maybe more on the sensitive skins, you can actually cut a uh, uh, lesser drop. But for me, right, I go for this, this uh, 10 drop each because I find that sometimes you need slightly stronger oil for certain condition. Okay, but if you find that it's too strong, you can cut. Okay, cut the drop lesser. Okay, Jane. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so we need need to have allergy blend. What is allergy blend? Allergy blend is a blend that I highly recommend all must bring. Okay, why? This is a fever blend. Okay, this is an allergy blend. Like sometimes we happen to eat something that we have allergies at the mouth here. Okay, or maybe our sudden have an eye sore. Uh, sore eye or maybe, you know, have some redness or pink eyes or something, some condition that, you know, is due to allergy, you can use this allergy blend to use. And you also can use it for fever. So basically for fever, there are techniques that you can use is apply at the back of the neck, armpit, on the joints area, okay, and uh, the inner thigh area, okay, and so Okay, this is how I apply and even forehead, I will do massage for my kids and I will also do Tina, okay, to break the fever. Respiratory blend, yes, you can use for block nose. Block nose, uh, actually for, if let's say you have a prolonged uh, sinus issue, you can use breathe, dilute and do this. You can see, stroke down, okay. 30 to 50 times, then at this point, you circulate motion 50 times, it will release the, the, the sinus and the block for you. You can go and try now. <laughs> okay, you try, you try and share. Okay, it's very, very good for sinus block. Huh? Let me see. Okay. All right. Okay, so do remember this is a must to have when you travel. Okay, if you can bring these three oils with you, that will be good. Okay, that will be good. Okay, so let's move on. OV blend. A lot of people always ask me, what are the blend that we can use for skin? Just that I, I, I share, we need to have things like for skin. Example, I have a fall, I cut myself, I bleed, and then uh, I have rashes, I have bites, I have mosquito bites uh, everywhere, you know, and uh, I have uh, like, you know, rashes everywhere, very sensitive. Okay, sensitive, you can use just now the allergy blend. But if your skin like rash and then, you know, you need something to heal, uh, you have cuts or your kids fall, got scratches, or you go hiking and you have a cut or, or whatever, use this blend. This OE blend. Basically, OE blend is a skin blend that can use for all skin condition, including eczema. Okay, some children uh, use this blend. It works for their eczema really well. But some, they might need to use others. But Definitely, this is one of the oil that you will use for all skin issues. Okay, do screenshot down for your own reference use. Okay. Okay, let me see. Did I miss out anyone? Walk too much. Later, I share with you walk too much, use what, huh? All right. See, I got miss anybody message. Okay, so okay, just now, uh, Celine, you was asking about motion sickness, right? Motion sickness, actually, most of the oil that just that I share, like digestion, uh, ginger, and peppermint, three oils are the oils that you can use for motion sickness. I personally find that peppermint very good, digestion is very good for motion sickness. How do you apply? If motion sickness, you want, you have to travel for long hours uh, in a car, or, you know, uh, maybe on a ship or something, okay, you dilute it and apply at the back of the ear. Okay, must be the back of the ear. Okay, then some on the nose area. Okay, then you then you sit on the car. 
definitely it will help. And then you can actually get the children or yourself to rub uh, peppermint or digestion on the hand, palm, and do a cupping, a cupping in heel therapy, like breathing technique. Slowly, slowly it will be better. I have a friend that her kids are uh, from young, uh, take taxi or take any car. The moment the car move, uh, not long later, she start vomiting. You know, her motion sickness was really bad and digestion worked, well, worked very well for her. Okay, so now digestion is one of them that she will definitely have when she travel in a car. Okay, so Celine, you can try. Dilution later, I tell you what to uh, dilute, how much to use, okay? All right, so let's move on. So Bugs uh, repel repellent re recipe, please uh, screenshot down. Uh. Okay, this is one of them that I will highly recommend you to bring when you travel. Not only that, uh, look at the recipe for this, right? Although it looks like a mosquito or bugs repellent, but this can also can be used for respiratory, okay? So what you do is you can use it for your uh, hotel bed in case there's bed bug, okay? So what you do, you can spray it at the side of the bed, okay? If you gasu, uh, you can do that, all right? So when you're going out, uh, uh, like maybe a, 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 maybe a hiking or something like that, okay? You can also spray on your leg, and your hands or your clothes. But I will recommend on your hand and legs, not on your clothes, because I, I'm worried that it will stain because of lemongrass, but it, it will not, like, maybe it will not. So, but still, we will apply it on the skin area. So why I use uh, fractionated coconut oil? Because fractionated coconut oil stay longer on our skin. So when we travel, we want uh, the repellent to be staying longer, definitely we will we'll need uh, to use fractionated coconut oil instead of distilled water. Okay, so that is why definitely I will ask you to use fractionated coconut oil. If you have uh, citronella, okay, lemon eucalyptus, go ahead and use these good oils. Okay, citronella is one of the best oil to use for uh, insect, anything to do with insects or, you know, uh, repellent, anything. Okay, I personally love that oil because it's very effective. For, I see how it's effective for my house, okay. Uh, you, lemongrass you can remove and you actually can replace it with citronella also. All right. Okay. So this one also can use it in Singapore. All right. So another one, which is our Respond X, just now Hannah was actually sharing. Oh, we need to bring Respond X. Definitely we need to bring anything that you have cuts, anything to do with your skins, like even baby have diaper rash, uh, even you have face rash. You know, some people, when you travel to cold country and then you have cold rash, you also can use Respond X to apply thinly on your skin. All right, it's very, very good for even acne or pimple skin also. I have a member also use this uh, Respond X for their skin. I personally, last time, have very, very sensitive skin that I have a lot of red, red uh, spots, but it's not pimple, just red. Okay, very easily get uh, turned red. So what happened is that I used Respond X for one, two years, and it really do help me so much. Yes, for dry lips also. Yes, yes. Yeah, thanks, Kalisha, for your sharing. Okay, for the dry lips, you also can apply a thin layer. You find it very moisturizing and your lips look very nice. Okay, so let's move on. But currently, doTERRA now in Singapore is sold out. <laughs> so once it restock, please go and stock out. <laughs> it's very, very good. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let's talk about the pain and aches, you know, walk until very tired. So sometimes when we travel, definitely we will travel to shopping center, you know, or maybe a night market or some of the walk, you will definitely need to walk a lot. So what you do is you can actually bring a deep blue rub with you in your luggage. And then before you travel or you start walking, right, apply on your leg. First, okay, I, I, because for me, right, I have, a, I, every morning I have to walk a very, walk a lot. So when I start feeling my ankle, start feeling pain, uh, the morning when I start walking or, or uh, leave my house, right, I will apply uh, uh, deep blue rub or the deep blue stick around the ankle area. Okay, because I previously I fall and then injured uh, my, my leg. So it, previous, it actually uh, have this ache and pains on and off. So I will definitely apply uh, deep blue rub or deep blue stick around my ankle area and it's very, very good. Okay, 
yeah, Hannah also shared, if fall and hit the mouth, all right, Respond Act also can use to stop bleeding and release the pain on the mouth, ulcer, or yeah, yes, yes, yes. Very good. And one thing is that if you if you start, if you before exercising or walking, applying deep blue rub, okay, it can reduce your muscle aching. And not only that, you can notice that uh, you will release the tension on your muscle and you can walk better, walk longer. Lah, okay. So even any age also can use, even for children, but children just need to have thin layer of applying, not a uh, thick layer huh, because it's quite hot, quite minty, I, I, I find. But my children too, I actually use this oil for them, uh, this rub for them to stop mosquito bite. Sometimes when you apply some mosquito repellents or mosquito blend, you know, and it's still very itchy for your children and keep scratching, all right, you can actually apply a thin layer of deep blue rub to stop the itch. It's very effective for stopping uh, skin itch uh, and it heal up the skin also. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, this is my favorite uh, deep blue stick. My husband also find that this is very, very good because my husband exercise a lot. And then for me, I walk. Then recently injured also. So deep blue stick actually comes in the rescue when doing, because I'm very busy. Actually, I, I actually a very busy person. So uh, I hardly have time, you know, to sit down and really spend time massaging myself or, or, or even go to a massage uh, salon to do massaging, all this and that. So the only thing that I find that is very fast to release my pain when I need, right? Okay, as a mother of two, uh, I always use deep blue stick before I sleep. I just apply every anywhere like my shoulder pain, okay, my arms pain or my leg pain, my knee pain. I will just rub, okay. I will apply the oils that I need, apply and then I layer it with uh, deep blue stick. And one thing I like about deep blue stick is that when you sweat, right, you will still leave on on your skin, which is very effective. So one, if let's say you travel and it's very light and compact, and it won't smudge all around. Okay, it's really like a bum stick like that. So you just you just put in your bag and can travel everywhere. So like you know the muscle aches or joint pain, uh, like you know some back aches, your shoulder. You can actually just roll it a bit, and you will find that uh slowly you will release the tension from your shoulder for your shoulder and your leg also. Very very good, and you will leave on a very uh smoothing and cooling sensation also. Anyone here already start? Anyone here have this? Or no one have this? I think most of us, we have this, right? When do you use deep blue rub versus the deep blue stick? Okay, deep blue stick uh, is when I you can use it during the day when you sweat a lot. Deep blue rub, you can use it during the night. But I for me, I uh, okay, because uh, deep blue rub is a cream base. Deep blue stick is like a bump paste uh, 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 texture. So when deep blue stick apply, right, you will not have this uh, messy feeling, but it's almost the same. Uh, just that I feel that um, the deep blue stick actually stay on the skin better. Okay, for sweat. If we sweat a lot uh, or during like we go for work, workout, blue, deep blue stick is better. And one thing, deep blue stick have co paiba with pain management use, which is very, very effective. Okay, we know Kobaiba is very, very good for pain. So it's added into this, okay, into this uh, deep blue stick. Okay, all right. So let's move on. Okay, so let's talk about, you know, coming to the night to sleep, right? We need to have some nice aroma in our room, especially our hotel room. And especially when we are traveling and, you know, we some people might, also, uh, might have this problem of like, you know, I miss my home. <laughs> so to help you to have a better sleep, you can actually do this DIY, okay? Uh, and spray around your bed your room, your toilets to give you a very calming aroma. Okay, even uh, in Singapore, we also can do this and use this at home, okay, to reduce chemical load, <laughs> okay, and give you a very calming um, aroma to keep you, uh, helps you to sleep better. And one thing, this is baby friendly, okay, animal friendly, okay, this blend. All right, so screenshot down and then we move on to the next. 
So the another room spray, which is the respiratory, I will find that it's more on the minty, uh, sense, min, mint filling, okay, uh, respiratory uh, room spray. So you can actually use uh, eucalyptus, brief and lemon, eight drop each in a 30 ml spray bottle, two ml of each hazel, top up the rest with which uh, distilled water. Just spray around on the bed or even on the baby, uh, uh, baby cot. All right, uh, it is very, very nice. You all can try. Okay, even haven't traveled, uh, this recipe is really very good. All right. Can your screenshot down already? You give me a thumbs up. Okay, so if you tell me, hey, Gwen, I don't have eucalyptus, what oils can I use? You can use lavender also. Okay, you can replace uh, lavender also. You also can replace it with Lixi. Yeah, it's very nice. And if I need something like, you know, very calming and relaxing, you also can use adaptive. Just alone with adaptive, like, you know, 20 drops or 15 drops in a 30 ml spray bottle and top up, same thing. Okay, you can make your own blend or your room spray of your scents. Okay, it's up to you. Uh. Okay, and move on. This also can use for car, car spray also. Right, so let's move on. Adaptive. Adaptive is one of the blend. I will highly recommend you to bring it overseas as sometimes it, ten it tends to have uh, children or ourselves feeling like, you know, very hard to adapt the, con uh, the area, okay, a new environment. And during the night, sometimes we really need something to smooth us to have a better sleep. So adaptive comes in rescue to help you to cope with the, the environment change. At the same time, it's a very soothing and uplifting, uplift your mood also. One thing I like about adaptive is it can be used for day and night. Okay, what I mean day and night, it can use any day in the any time in the day, okay, that you can sleep well, you can relax, you can release your stress and give you a very uplifting uh, aroma. And not only that, when if your children is having a uh, having their study time, you also can diffuse it to help them to focus. So is it very good? I find that this is really very good eh? and it's stress relieving oil also. So after a tired day, you can diffuse adaptive in your room. Okay, you also can add in lavender to enhance the, uh, the relaxation uh, atmosphere in the room. So adaptive is one of them that I will definitely bring when I travel uh, and, and diffuse in the room. Okay, and apply for my children to cope with their, you know, meltdown, uh, their crankiness. So it's very, very important. All right, okay. So let's move on. So any other question? Any other question? I don't, I hope I don't bore you all, huh? <laughs> They're very quiet. <laughs> yeah, the Hannah sharing was really very good. Okay, for me, I, I, I do really, for me, I always like to bring a lot along uh, Respondent X with me. Okay, so let me ask, uh, anyone here have, uh, like, you will have your own choice of, like, sleeping blend, uh, like, sleeping blend that uh, you always travel and you will definitely bring. Okay, let me share with my, uh, with, with you guys, uh, uh, is there any oil, okay, is there any oil that good for gout uh, attack? Gout's attack, uh, LLV is definitely the supplements that you need to take. And then uh, I will go for like oil for gout's uh, pain. Go for copaiba, deep blue oil, turmeric, ginger, wintergreen. You can go for these five oils. And then you blend in a 10 ml roller, you roll. Okay. But gout, uh, you need to take LLV. It's a must to take LLV. And then you need to have a uh, terazine. Okay, and please go and take Xenon Crime daily. Okay, daily, uh, soft gel. You take daily, you take one month, you will notice there's a change already. I don't know who, uh, what's your name, uh, Zoom user. <laughs> so you can give it a try, okay? All right. So there are always like, you know, my, okay, let me share, like sometimes we travel for long hours and then jet lag. Uh, uh, what happens is what are the oil that can assist you? So you can use peppermint, 
uh, and I, my sister-in-law, she also travel all the time. So she happened to tell me, say, hey, you know, I have this uh, very bad jet lag. Oh, I come back, I feel so terrible. Then, you know, I'm trying to adjust. And when I was traveling in a plane, I use a, she used a lot of peace oil. And then she come back, she used peace oil and she said, oh, you give me so much comfort after using that oil, which is, you know, peace oil yeah, is also something very good. Yeah. Uh, yes, gout actually uh, for acid level, right? Uh, there's one also one oil very good, celery seeds. Celery seeds is really very good for all anything, anything, okay? Like three highs, high blood, la, high cholesterol, la, uh, whatever, okay? Celery seed is really very effective. Even UTI also. So if you have gout issue, there are some of the oil that you can consider, but definitely LLB you need to take. You need to take at least one month of salon crime, you know? And then, uh, or you can go for uh, celery seeds, which is very good. And what Kalisha advise is the lemongrass. Okay. Wait, uh, if bring any, so many oil, huh, do I need to put in the check, check in with, okay, up the plane, uh, 100 ml max. But check in, I don't think you need to, uh, there's no limit for check in. Okay, so any more question for the urine acid, the gout, right? Okay, so I think Kalisha also answer you, Lidi. <laughs> All right, so there are, there are the oils that uh, for gout, okay, definitely you can apply and also internally, but gout actually you have to go internally to clear, okay? And uh, there are food that, a lot of food you cannot eat, right? And vitamin C and B are very important also. Okay, so if you settle your internal, huh, the relapse uh, of getting the gout can be controlled. Okay, and drink more water. But my highly recommend oil for you is uh, you have to go for sandal cry and then uh, you can go for celery seed. Okay, celery seed oil. And then what Kalisha advice is lemongrass. You can go for lemongrass also. All right, so do let, uh, maybe you can talk to your upline for more advice. Okay, any other question? Any other question before we're going to end the, the Zoom? Can we take a picture together or not? <laughs> I want to keep a record. Can we take a picture together? Let me see. Uh, I stop sharing. So no other question. All right. So you do have your, you do personally have stories to share with us. Like, you know, you travel and then what? emergency, you know, what happened, then the oils that you have actually helps you. Anyone want to share? Anyone here want to share with us? No one? No one want to share? Maybe I can share? Okay, okay, good, Kalisha. Actually, um, recently I went for a bike trip to Malacca and uh, I actually witnessed an accident on the road as we returned oh. to Singapore. Oh. So there was a bike uh, got banged by a car and then I saw the bike, the, the rider and the pillions and the bike fly in three directions. Yeah. So, oh, okay. so my group, we were just actually behind them by about one car. So we all stopped. We went to help them. So the uh, I went to assist the pillion, uh, which is a girlfriend, uh, so she was kind of unconscious already. So then I told Jeff, hey, you go to the box, bring out my oil pouch. Mm. So, so I actually put one drop of brief on my palm. Then I put a cup over her, her nose. I asked oh. her to breathe. I just, I, I tell her, breathe, just breathe, breathe in, breathe out. I, I guide her. La. So after that, I see that, uh, okay. So her shoe actually fly away. She didn't wear proper riding gear. Uh, riding boots that is so she wear normal sport shoes so her shoe also fly so her socks were torn and her toes bleeding uh, okay so i drip lavender straight onto her her wounds as well as i think her hand also some parts bleeding i just drip on her then i drip and then i see her mouth like like i think it's she's bleeding already 
So I will mm. adjust a, a frankincense in her mouth. So after I did that, I think two, one time. Uh, so a few minutes later, some time later, she, she kind of regained consciousness. Oh, so, so that's powerful. She asked me what happened. She's still in shock. She still has not realized what happened because they were at very, very, very fast speed. Oh. So wow, that's really amazing. Yeah. So when we bring oils with our with us when we travel, we not only help our own people, but sometimes we can help others. Like, I think. Yes, yes, I totally agree. I also yeah. personally find that uh, traveling uh, always with me really helps a lot. Like, you know, sometimes you see somebody in need, just, you know, you have something to help rather than standing down there. You know, you stand there, you really don't know what to do, you know, I really don't know what to do, I was helpless. <laughs> eh. So I just bring me my pouch. Then he said, what if she got allergy? Never mind, just bring. <laughs> <laughs> You are also very daring to use it on her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, 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 you know what I mean? Yes. She was unconscious. Eh. Then after that, I, I asked her what's her name and she could tell me, you know. Wow. So you can imagine frankincense is really very powerful. Yeah. Really very powerful. It's a must oil. Sometimes people might think that, oh, so expensive at the oil. I tell you, it, have some, it will definitely have its use. Okay, it's nothing to do with the price, but it can help many people. And okay? you can save a life. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really very happy about this. <laughs> mm. Okay, so let's take a picture, okay? Uh, because I need to, you know, record this down. So let's uh, have a screenshot. Okay, one, two, three. A video, video open. Okay, one, two, three. Smile. Okay, give me a minute, huh? Okay. Tomate, huh? Give me a while. Where is it? Give me a while, huh? Ayo, where? I need to save it somewhere. Okay, we have one more because we have two screen. Eh. Okay, two screen. <laughs> okay, so we take one more. One, two, three. Smile. Okay. Thank you. So nice. Thank yes. you, Glenn. No problem. So uh, our sharing will we stop here. Okay, so if you have any question, you can look for your direct upline for more detail, especially the gout. Okay, I think gout is one of the topic that maybe next time we can consider to have to share more. And you have anything that you think you want us to have or more topics, you can let us know. Next week, next Friday, right? Uh, my team will actually have a Zoom that Hannah will be sharing about eye care. So what are the oils that we can use for our little ones for their eye protection and eye care and improve eye vision? This is very, very important. So uh, if you are looking for something uh, like, you know, uh, the oils uh, that can help your little one with eye condition, do join us for the next Friday uh, Zoom to have a better understanding. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining. Thank you.